Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at human causes of flooding. This is part of Paper 1, Unit C, River Landscapes. There are several human factors that increase the risk of flooding. The first factor that we are going to have a look at is urbanisation. As towns and cities grow, more and more land is covered in tarmac and concrete. These are impermeable so water cannot soak into the ground. This means the water runs over the land as surface runoff. The increased demand for housing means that more and more land on the rural urban fringe is being developed on, increasing the flood risk there. But it also means that land on floodplains is sometimes used for new housing developments and covered in impermeable materials too. In addition, there are a few natural areas to store excess water in urban areas and water gets into rivers very quickly via gutters, drains and culverts, meaning that discharge rises at a faster rate than it would in rural areas. The growth in car ownership has also made the problem worse as many people have concreted over their front gardens to make space for more car parking particularly in the inner city and inner suburbs where there are few other places to park. And even if car parking is not an issue, many people pave over lawns to make their gardens as easy to maintain as possible. Our second human factor that increases the risk of flooding is deforestation. Linked to urbanisation is deforestation, as many trees have to be cut down to make way for housing developments and infrastructure. Fewer trees reduces interception as there are fewer leaves to stop rain reaching the ground. It also reduces root uptake as there are less roots to absorb water from the soil. This means the soil gets saturated much more quickly, leading to increased surface runoff and a higher risk of flooding. Fewer trees also means fewer roots to hold the soil in place, so more soil erosion will take place. This means that when it does rain, exposed soil will be washed into rivers, causing sedimentation and reducing the channel capacity, which increases the likelihood of flooding. Finally, let's consider how agriculture increases the risk of flooding. Mechanisation of farming means that hedges have been removed to make huge fields, which make farming more efficient due to the use of large machines. If there are fewer hedges, then less interception and root uptake can occur. In the south of England, intensive arable farming, which is crop farming, dominates. After crops have been harvested, the fields are usually left bare over winter. This means that during the months when rainfall is heavier, there is no vegetation to intercept rainfall or roots to soak up the excess water. Ploughing furrows into fields also creates artificial channels that allow runoff to travel quickly back to rivers and allow soil to be washed into the rivers more easily, causing a build-up of sediment, which decreases the river's capacity, meaning it needs less extra water to flood. Changing in farming also means that less land is actually needed as intensive farming is characterised by huge sheds, concrete yards and vast polytunnels. So farmers often sell off fields to property developers as they can make more money that way. And again, this means that more land is covered in impermeable surfaces such as tarmac and concrete. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on human causes of flooding. Thank you for watching.